Happy Tuesday, you guys. I hope I didn't scare you with my hair coming on the, on the camera like this. But I wanted to come on and get the vlog started for the day. I feel like um, I haven't really vlogged that much um, this week, so I need to get the ball back rolling. But I have been busy doing some little crafts, you know. Um, I just been kind of like having like my mind all wrapped up in this stuff. Like once I get going, like doing like some little crafts here and there, I get so excited and I just feel like um, that's all I want to do when I get started. So that's what I've been up to. I've been making like some little beads. Here's um, a mess. We had pizza from Costco the other day, you guys, and I used this board to actually um, put some paint on and uh, used to paint. And uh, over here are a few of the items that I made. I'm going to be putting in my Etsy shop the candy corn sign and also the candy corn garland. And I'm also working on um, others, you know, for the fall season or whatever. But um, that's what I've been up to. So today I feel like I want to make a different one for fall and uh see what see what i can come up with so i love being creative you guys and um, i'm so happy doing that stuff it's crazy and i could do it like all day does my face look like i feel like for the last two days my face looks puffy like my, my husband said it's not and i was on the phone uh facetiming with my sister and she was like girl please wear but <sighs> Trying to open this canister to get the coffee out. Hold on, you guys. This thing is like so tight when you put it around the, um, put it back. It's hard to get out, which is good, but not so good when you're trying to get some coffee. So anyways, uh, first thing is first, getting this coffee made. Um, then, uh, what else? I'm, oh, I'm washing my hair, so I gotta finish with this task. You know, this is a... I don't like doing this, but it was time and I needed to get it done. I hear today is supposed to be like 105 degrees today, you guys. Like, that's insane. It was getting cool for a while. Now, all of a sudden, temperatures just spiked up. So, we have to figure out a good way to cool off and um, stay hydrated in this heat because it can be... Um, a bit overwhelming especially for the boys like i feel so bad for amari and his team because they still have to play in the heat but um as long as we keep them hydrated um they allow them a lot of water breaks and thank god that um, practice is now in the evenings and so are the games you guys i would prefer games in the evening any day over morning only because i'm really not a morning person and by the time the evening comes the sun is already starting to go down, but Georgia's heat, it doesn't matter whether the sun is up or down, you're still gonna suffocate from humidity. So um, it's really not, um, but it's not as bad when the sun is out so or gone. So that's what, what I was up to. Um, I was also watching Angie's vlog for today. She was doing a Clean With Me Motivational Monday video, which does inspire me to get cleaning around here but i do have to um wash my hair and i've been so busy trying to you know like build my etsy shop um that that's been like consuming a little bit of time for me lately um i made a t-shirt for one of the moms at um, football so that is about to get started i know i'm going to be busy with that this season because people are already asking about shirts so i'm excited <clears throat> um for what's to come i know i was speaking to you guys um, the other day about you know how I was feeling and everything and um, you know you guys are such good people to like talk to like even though we're not here face to face one on one I get some of the most uplifting comments words of encouragement I mean I'm thankful for you guys because some people we, we need that like I was looking at another youtuber yesterday a girl that um she does her hair all the time and I enjoy watching her videos and she hadn't posted a video um, in like a few days and that was not like her and she came back on and she was just saying about telling us about all the things that she was going through and she lost her father at the beginning of this year 
um, last year her brother died uh, she was dealing with some other issues and she was like mental health is so important like you can get wrapped up in mental health or in a depression anxiety and I feel like I deal with that and um, I just feel like a lot of times we're going through that or having depression or experiencing anxiety and we don't even know it like we think we're fine we it's a little net we think we're fine we think that our days are good and we're fine but mentally are we really like some days I think like are we really okay like it's a lot of people like snapping she was crying and she was even saying how she could even see how some people think and consider suicide as bad as that sound is reality people experience so many things that are like heavy in the mind in your in your in your mental state of of, of mind like it really could push you there i'm not saying that's a way to go but there's a lot of us who have thought like man if i was just not here you know i wouldn't have to be bothered with it there's been times when um w w while my kids were growing up and i was just having a hard time you know um here and there in life or whatever and i would think like dang the girl's dad i used to think like he was lucky to not be here and have to deal with the world's drama and just everything that comes along with life like I used to really think that he was lucky like dang how did how did he get to go you know because I feel like he was at he's at peace he's resting he doesn't have to worry about the kids their safety and taking care of them and how you gonna do this and how you gonna do that like sometimes you really think like it's just <laughs> I hate saying this but I feel like it's so true so we have to do things that will pull us out like she said get yourself a therapist like i even think about like maybe that's what i should do because i experience anxiety i know i've been experiencing depression i was experiencing depression while the girls were gone now that they're back it's like it's a whole nother ball game it's like a whole nother way of thinking now it's not that problem anymore it's other problems and i know that everybody goes through things but I just think mental health is such a big deal in these days and times and um, we have to figure out a way to get mentally healthy and um, not get to that point of when people when you're wanting to like end your life or not wanting to live anymore because you have so many people that love and depend on you and even though you have those thoughts that doesn't mean like you want to end it all like it doesn't mean that I mean people are normal human beings we are made of flesh and um, there's just times and periods in our lives where we think like you know what I'll be better off not being here but um, God is good and I don't I pray that anybody experiencing that and um, the lady who I was or the girl who I was watching I consider I mean she's a lady but she's like in her 20s She's still a young baby to me, but <clears throat> I just feel like um, I hope she's able to get herself together, um, myself and others. And any of you who are experiencing um, mental health issues, depression, anxiety, all of that falls under mental health, like seriously. Um, some people have it worse than others where they're actually like um acting on their thoughts which is horrible and 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 when you feel like you're close to acting on your please get some help i mean it's one thing to have something just cross your mind but to actually want to act on it is not good at all it's not good at all so we have to start healing ourselves words of affirmation um keeping yourself around people and positive uplifting people people who don't wear your spirit down negative energy people you want to be around um positive influencers positive people who will help you grow through whatever situation you're going through um because it's so important don't isolate yourself you guys i have that bad like i am good i will 
I'm not a phone person to begin with, so I'm not one to just walk around and be on the phone. I'm the type of person where we talk on the phone, we say what we gotta say, and it's over. Like, that's it. I can't walk and chew bubblegum. I cannot talk on the phone and get things done. Like, once I start talking on the phone, I feel like I have to focus on that conversation and be done with it before I can go and do something else. So, that's just me. I'm looking for my purse because I feel like I need some chapstick, you guys. I know I look a mess, I'm so sorry, but this is life with London. You get all aspects of London, even on her worst days. I did take a shower, she's clean. I do smell good, but I just look crazy by the head. But anyways, you guys, I know that was a lot. And I know I say that a lot when I'm talking to you guys. It's been 10 minutes so far. But I feel like it's very important. And um, a lot of times I feel like um, talking to you guys helps me out a lot. Because another thing, I am an introvert. So this is good for me. Like I could talk to you through the camera and um, I'm done. Like. I love people, but I love being by myself. Like right now, I'm so happy. Nobody is here, it's just me. And um, yeah, I even thought about um, um, being a person because so many people need somebody to talk to, but they have, and they may have people to talk to, you just don't wanna share everything with even people you think you can trust. There's things that goes on in your mind or in your life that you want to talk about but you don't want to talk about it because you don't want nobody to judge you you don't want nobody to look at you different or you just want it to be a for real secret you don't want it to get out or people to think that or you to go around thinking like what if she didn't tell somebody what i just told her or whatever i was thinking like i'm gonna be a a, a cyber friend or a virtual friend where you could call me and we could talk i don't know who you are i don't need to know your name nothing none of that where you live none of that but you can call and just talk to me about things that are going on in your life that you just have to get off your chest i was thinking about that the other day like i could be a virtual friend like i know there's millions of people who need somebody to talk to but don't want to talk to people in their life and probably wish they just had a stranger that they can just say it all out get some advice or just get an ear and i was thinking like i could do that i could be a virtual friend but then i was like shoot i need one of those i need a virtual friend i need somebody that i could talk to just and be raw and uncut and just say everything i feel how i feel without judgment without nobody trying to talk you out of whatever it is you want to do or you know, it could be anything. There's women out here that just found out that they're pregnant and want to tell somebody so bad, but they want to wait till they are after or past their first trimester before they even say anything, but they want to tell somebody. Call me girl, I could talk to you. But anyways, um, I need a friend like that too. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I be running my mouth. My husband tell me that all the time. Girl, you could talk, I know. I know, I'm sorry, but you guys always tell me it's okay. So I assume you guys don't mind because that's what you say, you don't mind. So there it is. But anyways, you guys, I gotta get this stuff organized. I have like little props and stuff here for like my pictures. Um, the other day I went to the Dollar Tree and I found this little uh, straw barrel, bale of hay. Um, so cute because it's so tiny. And I got these little leaves, um, some little pumpkins. These are like wooded pumpkins. Some are glitter, some are just the natural color, and then some are uh, orange. And then they have the little um, stickers on the back. <clears throat> so those were cute. I picked those up. I got some uh, burlap leaves. I thought these would be cute. And I got all of this stuff just to, um, you know, have as props in my pictures when I'm taking pictures of the things that I'm gonna be putting in my Etsy store. And um, here are some little signs that they have, the little galvanized um, words. This one says harvest. Um, here's another one that says welcome. 
and there's another one here that says thankful which i thought these were actually cool because you can do so much with these things people make wreaths wood signs all kinds of cool things and i found this uh, really pretty um ribbon that i could also use on my garland so that's what i got from dollar tree and um also a wooded sign that i did over let me show you what it looked like before i made it to look like that but on the back this is what it looked like but i did this so that i could have a cute one to go on my um for my props so yes guys i have things to do today like clean get this hair together um of course cook dinner and just work on some stuff so i'm gonna put the camera down i'm gonna drink my coffee and try to organize my mess because i have stuff everywhere and nothing is organized as you can tell I have paint here beads there over in the living room i have um other things like this bag here is just on the couch and it has yarn and other stuff in here. So I have a lot of things to do, which one of them needs to be getting organized today. So I'm back guys, look who's home. Amari, you wanna say hello, Amari, stop acting silly. You're a whole nother year older now. Hi. You're in the eighth grade. You wanna act like he in the fourth. Oh, my leg is still itching from when we walked the dogs the other day. Amari was at the table doing homework. And um, practice was canceled for today because of the weather. Why is it not focusing? I don't know what's going on with these cameras. But anyways, um, practice is canceled today. So there won't be any practice. I'm excited about that. And where's the... Oh. I'm getting ready to sorry guys my camera died but I'm getting ready to drill some holes in these little wood acorns and I think I got fine babes drill and the little bits that I need to drill the holes I'm so happy he has these things because I don't know what I would do and I've been using this his drill more than him so I think these are it but I need to drill holes in them so I can string them I'm gonna be using these um, so I can string the uh, yarn or the jute twine or whatever through the little acorns because um, these are I'm gonna do like a little acorn um, garland well, there'll be a few of those on the garland. It won't be throughout the whole garland. But anyways, you guys, that little, I don't know, those bugs that bit my leg. Oh my gosh, they have me itching like every day since. It's getting better, but it's still like really itching bad. I'm in the garage, as you guys can see, and it is burning up. I'm going to start drilling the holes so that I can paint the acorns and um, start with my garland i already put some things up on my etsy store um it's still not full but as i make things i am putting them up and they are for sale so if you guys are interested in anything that's in the etsy store i'm going to leave everything like in the description box um the link to get to the etsy store so if you guys are interested check it out follow me over there it's called um, Home Charm by London. And um, yeah, if you see something, go ahead and order and I'll send it right to you. But everything that I'm making is pretty much gonna be like made to order cause I'm only making one thing by right now. I'm not gonna like overdo everything because I'm new, just getting started. So I'm gonna just take it slow, not make a whole lot of inventory. And when my orders start really coming in, then that's when I will um, make multiples if I get busy like that. I'm praying it does because that would be a blessing. But if not, I'm going to do one thing at a time. So anyways, I'm going to start drilling these holes so that I can um, finish, you know, creating the beats. <music>
just thought I'd share that bit of information. It's pretty hot. It's pretty hot. <sighs> it's so humid, that's the thing. The sun is finally going down, but it's so humid. Very. And this little guy right here. Uh, lovey. <laughs> Why do you want to go in the bushes? They like to go like in the bushes. And I don't want them to do that because you know, all the bugs and spiders and stuff. Like it's all kind of stuff out here. It's crazy. But yeah, guys, we'll just bring the dogs out to use the bathroom. Um, I have on leggings today, so hopefully I won't get ate up so bad. Because this grass is, it's a, it's a nightmare. I don't know if they should treat the grass for bugs. I don't know if that's even possible, but I don't know what be in the grass that's biting up my legs. But imagine what it's doing to the dogs. That's what I'd be thinking about. But they don't seem to be itching or scratching. So maybe whatever is biting me only likes, uh, I don't know, my blood, human blood, not necessarily dog blood. I don't know, because dogs seem to be just fine. No problems whatsoever. Come on. It is very hot outside, you guys. Oh my goodness. It's like suffocating kind of heat out there. It's ridiculous. While I'm down here, I was going to show you guys the shirt that I made. And that's, that was the back. But here's the front. Uh, it says first downs to touchdowns. That's how Grayson rolls. So this is for one of the moms that, um, you know, wanted a shirt. And uh, she was just like, whatever you decide, I'm fine with it. So... I um, found something like that to make for her and hopefully she likes it. I was going to give it to her today, but since practice is canceled, oh, that's awesome because there will be no practice tomorrow. But when they cancel practice, they always add a day that we were supposed to be off as the day that we took off. So that sucks because I'm sure tomorrow practice will be when we were supposed to have a day off. It's not like we're going to get two days off in a row. That's never going to happen. But anywho, the shirt is ready um, for me to deliver to her. So glad that's done. So I've just been working on my little bees. I haven't done much around the house. Like I said earlier, washed my hair and I twisted it up so that it could air dry. And I've been wearing this hat. Um, you know, so I don't look too crazy around here. But yes, you guys. So tonight for dinner, it might come up here. tonight for dinner, I really wanted to make. I'll just tell you guys. I was gonna wash my hands. I really wanted to make chicken enchiladas, but I think I'm gonna just make chicken tacos. It's a lot easier, and I think it's just too hot to have the oven on. And um. I think I'd rather just make it on the stove real quick versus frying shells after shell after shell and then having to turn the oven on because it's really, really hot, you guys. So, anyways, I think that's what we're going to do. Have chicken tacos. And I'm going to turn the camera off so I can wash my hands. Hey, guys. So, I'm back and I cooked dinner and we ate dinner. We had chicken tacos. Did you like them? Yeah. That was different, huh? And then I used the fajita packet to give it that you fajita taste. Eating beef tacos. I know. And then we ate them on soft shells. I didn't show you guys. I was just ready to eat. And then my mom made my plate for the first time. In I made your plate time. before Maya. Just recently, I made your plate. Like you guys should be cooking dinner. Okay. She don't want to talk about that, but they was making a little conversation about how. I fixed Amari's plate, but I don't fix they plate. Michaela's 18, Maya's 17. And I think that they're old enough to make their plates. Amari is too, but he makes a huge mess. That's the only thing that bothers me with Amari. But anyways, I made her plate tonight. So I guess obviously she was happy. Yeah. 
but something happened today at school i want maya to tell you guys what happened at school um my my battery that, so. my battery is about to die so hurry up come on so, so. today my teacher he was talking and um he wanted someone to tug of war him in class so he was tug of war in class and um he was talking about he was like going against one of the real strongest kids on the football team and to remind you guys he's like really tall he's really a big guy like big guy and he's like six five too by the way so <laughs> He was tug of war and they were they were going at it. Then all of a sudden, Mr. Young falls. That is so embarrassing. He fell in front of everybody and we were like, Oh my god, what do we do? No, you said the whole class was laughing. Well at first we was laugh we were only laughing because when they were tug of war it was so funny. Mm -hmm. The facial expressions and like the seriousness was funny. <laughs> but then when he fell, we was laughing, but then we was like <gasps> Man, everybody got quiet and we were all looking at each other like, what do we do? Maya said she asked him, do you need help up? He didn't, oh, yeah. want, he didn't want the help. She said he tried to grab his desk, his computer and all fell, his stuff all the him. stuff from his desk fell. <laughs> That's not funny, but kind of is. I would be so embarrassed. Yeah, I would be in, beyond embarrassed. I would be so embarrassed. Like, if it was little kids, I wouldn't have cared. Like yeah. they gonna forget. And then you know kids be having their phones, recording, mm -hmm. snapchatting. Oh recording. my god, I could just imagine. I would be so embarrassed. He and said I he laid he there for a minute. He laid there for on his back. I'm like, do you need help getting over? He's like, no, he just rolled on up, rolled over, got up. That's so embarrassing. But I want to tell you guys, or Maya to tell you guys that story. She was just telling me that. And I was like, oh my god, let me get the camera so you can share that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go for the day because the camera's getting ready to die. Um, do you know my, my teacher fell today? <laughs> He's really tall. Really Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys <laughs> in my next video. Bye, guys.